we're back, viewers, and I had like a eh, couple of extra glasses of wine. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> this is some silly humor. I, I have no imagination, but it's great wine. Violet, would you like to have your wine yeah, before I introduce sure. you? Yeah. So I have the beautiful, voluptuous, tantalizing, hypnotic Violet. Um, she is a um, poet extraordinaire. I've known her as a friend for quite some time. We've hung out. We've, we've partied together. We've uh, you know, gone to bars together. We're having a great time, huh? Having a great and time. I, and and, and I've been, we've been having scheduled conflicts. Uh, we just haven't made this happen. But finally, you came. You, you, you made time for us on, the, on your busy calendar. And here you are. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> So welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks. As a Francoise, a Frenchman says, welcome to our show. We are loving you. You are looking beautiful, my dear. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so, um, your, uh, what's your full name? Is it just Violet? Is, is, is that, is that mm. how you, you... Violet you, Monday. Violet Monday. Violet Monday. Cool name. So Thanks. why did you pick that name to, 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 to write your to write books? Name. You know, actually, that name, it came from a dream. I just, um, just one night, I was, wow. just, you know, I just, I went to sleep wanting to be a poet, and I woke up. A full blown. With the name Violet Monday. Wow, that is pretty cool. So, um, you, so your interest in poetry was, was subliminal? Was it there? Was it part of your subconscious? I think so. I think, yeah, I think it was, I think it was in me all the time. Um, you know, since I was very young, I had started writing and, um, and I just compiled, I just wrote so much that I just had a big st um, stack of poems by the time I was 20 that I just decided, you know, um, I should, you know, write a book, write a poetry book and share my art with the world, you know. So, so your, your primary medium of, of sharing your work is uh, via the books that you have, mm -hmm. which we will show to the audience in a minute. Yeah. Um, what inspires you to write poems? I mean, is it, is it when you're happy? Is it when you're sad? I mean, what, what, what is it that, what's the mood and what inspires you? Um, I would just say it's, it's meeting people like you, you know, <laughs> meeting, <laughs> meeting interesting people. She's being polite. <laughs> she must be thinking, yeah, I'm not going to see this guy again for a long time. I don't want to be him. But she's nice. She's nice. <laughs> and it's just, um, you know, just, it's just living life and just capturing life on paper through poetry. It's like, you know, making a film. Um, it's just a different medium of art and it's just living life, you know, living like my favorite artists, um, you know, Neil Cassidy, Jack Kerouac, the Beatniks, um, Allen Ginsberg. Um, so I had been reading poetry since I was a young, you know, a young person. And so they were, um, they were my major influences. And so, um, so I just think, you know, that they really, uh, they really helped me with the poetry. So, so is it, is it a fair question or a silly question? You can, you can tell me, be honest. I mean, are you, are you in a, in a <laughs> contemplative, sad mood when you're writing a poem or are you happy? I mean, is there, is there, is there no, um, you know, it, it could be anything. You're, you're happy, you're joyous, you write a poem. Is that how it is? That's, you know what? That's the beauty of writing poetry. It doesn't matter what mood you're in. You could be happy, you could be sad, you could be, you could have, you know, be in love. And, um, and you know, you just put it down on paper and just, you know, and so then you, ca and that's capturing the moment. So it captures mm -hmm. the spirit of what you're feeling. Exactly. In words. Wow. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Now, um, and, 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 and I know we'll, we'll touch on maybe a sample poem or two. Okay. Um, what would be a common theme in your work? I mean, is this, uh, what, what might be a common theme in, in all your poems? I mean, if someone mm -hmm. reads a poem you wrote three years ago and read something you wrote maybe a month ago, would there be a theme? Um, I would just say the theme is is just love, is just loving the world because we only have one earth. I mean, you know, um, we only have one society. So I think we should really be good to um, to everybody we meet. You know, and I just think that um, you know whether it's your family, friends, strangers, I think love goes a long way. So I would say love is the theme. You know, as my uncle says. Love is makes the world go round. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so anyway, but but no, but that that's that's awesome. So mm -hmm. you're um and and when you <laughs> this <laughs> Did you like that? Yeah, I did. Was that a funny yeah, accent? Yeah, yeah, My right. uncles all talk like that. Oh, they do. <laughs> Love makes the world go round, they say, young man. That's how they all talk. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my uncles ain't watching. I know. Uncle, your nephew is like, uh, drunk. <laughs> Anyhow, so, <laughs> so, um, uh, so, so there's, 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 okay. Now, you can write it in different moods. Mm -hmm. How long do you take to write a poem? I mean, I've, I've you know. never written a poem. I've absolutely no talent mm -hmm. for this. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm like a total idiot. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'm, I'm like a monkey, actually. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just determined that I have simian genes because right. I focus on something for more than 30 seconds and I get a headache. So I've just, you know, I've, I've gone to the doctor and I said, doctor, check me out. I might have simian genes and I think tomorrow I'm going to know the results. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Actually, you don't even need to go to the doctor. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally joking. I'm just kidding. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was a good one. No. So, um, I even forgot the question I was asking. Nevertheless, um, can you read maybe a short poem for yeah, the, sure. the, uh, okay. the audience? You know? I, can, I can sure do that. You know. Okay. So, how about... Something that's short, to the point, very the nice, point. that they can get, you know. Okay. Listen in, guys. This is some. Okay. So this is um, this is a poem from the book. It's called "Blood Splattered on the Paper." Um, wow. By Violet Monday. So this is and it. This Blood splattered on the paper. Blood splattered on the paper. Okay. Wow. And this poem is called "Mother Nature." Mother Nature. What happened to Father Nature? Did he run off with the sister's son? whose father was the man on the moon, leaving Mother Nature, our Mother Earth, to fend for herself. See what is happening without her help. Little April showers become seduced by lightning and thunder down under, and vigilant eyes have no way to pry as a dark cloudy night enshrouds them from their protecting kin. Father Time left Lady Luck for Madame Rain, because he thought she was a good friend. Mother Nature. <clears throat> this poem's called A Million Directions. There are a million directions, but you are not one. So many avenues, different attitudes, choose one, but you are not mine. Even desperate with time, I am undone, frustration begun. A million directions, too many objections, reflections, rejections, affections, deep connections, rhythm sections, picturesque collections, tasty confections, sweet confections, inflections, exquisite selections, handsome projections. You are perfection, but you are not mine. A million directions. 